Today on Gamers Couch, Alchemists. Can I interest you in a potion of strength or maybe of wisdom? Love potion, please. Good sir, would you make a love potion? I think me? I think that is the blue minus potion that makes people behave irrational and strange, right? Love is not irrational. But otherwise, yes, you're so right. Well, we have learned to be great. <coughs> you be great alchemists. Doing our new potions, finding out stuff about nature. This is a learning experience. This is not a game. It's educational. It is educational and it teaches you how to behave in college or universities later by, well, Killing your competitors, being quicker, poisoning your Grin. assistants, grabbing their research funds. That's how you do. That's yeah. how it works. Putting lies into the who world. Who cares about science? Who cares about advancing the human knowledge and all that stuff? I don't. It's all about gold, grants, and fame. Mostly fame. Because fame is actually how you win at this game. And beer. There's beer too. Yeah, I think so. They they drink it. They have to drink something, right? They, yeah, yeah. That's the yeah. potion after trying the potion. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways. Alchemist. Let's be an alchemist. Alchemist. Hi there, first of all. <laughs> is a game. We are going to talk about this now for some time, I guess. You are starting with the rules and the gameplay and then we're talking about likes and dislikes and fun stuff and experiences that we had and you are going to sneeze the way <laughs> Then we're gonna talk about likes and dislikes and then funny stuff and uh, experiences or whatever stories that happened during our gameplay. So the first part will be covered by my sweetheart, just as always, he's... The duck. You know? That's my kiddo. It has to be the reference duck must be in the picture. People don't know how Yeah, otherwise tall they we don't are. recognize, right? Yeah. So, he's going to uh, explain the world of alchemists to you right now and I'm just sitting back and nodding and coming back with a talking. Like nodding off. Or... No, like mhm mm mhm. Mm You're so right. Okay. Go. Maybe I'm going to assist you with holding certain things into the camera. I don't know yet if I'm nice. I'm tempted to say hold the klappe, <laughs> <laughs> which is a German. I'm sorry, guys. It's shut so, the door in, in German. It means shut up, not shut the door. Oh, well, it does. Go, 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 talk. <laughs> well, in a... Let's assume you want to build the perfect, well, academics science simulator. How does work start for you being an alchemist? Well, pursuing the fine arts of finding out stuff about stuff by throwing them together and, well, heating them up. Typically, your day starts with waking up. And when do you want to wake up? Well, that question sort of determines how much do you want to get done that day? Do you want to have a rich breakfast, take a stroll through town, maybe take a look at all the, the gardens yeah. and uh, pick up some new ingredients? Or, well, do you want to skip breakfast, buy a little well bagel on the way and run straight through to work and do some stuff? As you can see, Alchemist is well, at least at this side of the game, a worker placement game. You start by choosing where you want to go, and then you continue your journey. And yes, this is a big board. You continue your journey by picking up ingredients on this side. And again, who comes first? Well, who gets served first and may pick the thing that you want to have well, more. Let me see if I can show you one of those ingredients. May I hold the board for you? Can you see me? They're dry ingredients, that's why it's making that kind of sound. So look what 
nice ingredients we may find. Maybe, maybe you find a scorpion in the gardens. Maybe you find him first. Maybe you find a crow's feather. All of these can be found, well, in the garden before you go into town and do some more stuff like visit the old alchemist who, well, gladly takes uh, your ingredients and turns them to gold because he's old and he already knows how to do that thing and hey, he's a little bit tired and doesn't want to go out by himself, but you have to pay a premium to do that. Or you can wait for some some adventurer showing up here and the adventurer is interested in certain potions. This one in particular likes to have a health potion, a potion of insanity, and uh, I think that's a paralyzing potion, the green, the mm. green minus one. So if you already know how to do these potions, or if you want to try out what happens if you mix some stuff together and have this grim fellow be, well, your guinea pig, that's a great way to do that and charge money for it. You may continue further on and buy some cool relics that at the end of the game give you some bonus points or during the game give you special abilities. You may tell other people that they're wrong. We're particularly good with that. If someone published a thesis saying, well, you know probably what alchemical components are within this scorpion, you may write a thesis about it, which you can do here, but you have to pay for publishing that thesis. But if you're cleverer than someone else, you can, well, tell them that they're wrong and maybe even prove that they're wrong and, well, get points for that and get negative fame or negative points for them. And last but not least, you can try out potions by, well, picking any of these two and mixing them together and see what happens. Well, your handy student will swallow all the potions you do and, well, maybe charge you if he finds out that actually you're feeding him poison. Or not, if it's, well, uh, some kind of health potion. Or you can go all in and try the potions yourself. At least you don't have to pay yourself to try them, but... Well, you could go insane. You could, you could go insane. And in fact, the manual notices that, well, if you drink a potion of insanity, you might end up well without your clothes on the marketplace and while you don't remember how you got there everybody else will do so and you lose your well precious fate points and at the end there might be a well a little convent where everybody's coming together and you share your work anecdotes and pretty much just tell every other scientist in the room that you're the bigger scientist, the better scientist, the more knowledgeable scientist. And then it starts all over again until, well, you have figured out a lot of things, have written a lot of theories and, well, every theory that you publish comes with an extra board because one board is one board, well, not enough. So here's the second board that shows all our lovely ingredients and here you can Add in your well, best guess and what kind of alchemicals are contained in there, having your score tracker all around here. So, what makes this game interesting? You ask, maybe beyond the joy of publishing theories and telling other people that they're wrong and all that stuff. And that they're and, dumb. And some lovely artwork, actually. Mm. Well, one of the one of the interesting parts is you well nobody knows at the beginning what alchemical components are in what ingredients so you have little screens where you can add in the results of your experiments if you cross let's say mushroom with toad you get an and I'm sorry for doing this in a one-handed really bad way Da, 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 let me present you with the pluses and the minuses. Let's say, let's say you combine mushroom with toad. You can then put in a little marker that tells you, well, I got a health potion out of that. And that sort of comes in with this block of paper that you can make notes on. Because, you know, there's only eight 
alchemicals, they're all different and, well, each ingredient can only have one particular alchemical. So by mixing them together, you can deduce what kinds of well, little pieces are in there. And let me get some of the alch alchemical markers to, to try to explain to you how this entire system works. Let's say we have these little Blurry alchemicals. I hope you can read, see them. Otherwise, this is going to be quite difficult. And great as I am, I picked exactly the ones that make a special <laughs> reaction. So, never mind. Let's take a look at these two alchemicals. As you can see, they have three different colors, red, green and blue, well, corresponding to the potions you may have seen already. And by combining these two alchemicals, let's say my Krausfeld and my Scorpion are well, sort of containing these, I will, I will know from these alchemicals that it will produce a red minus potion or a poison. How do I know that, looking just at these two? Well, you always combine a big globe with a small globe of the same color with the same symbol. As you can see, green has minus and plus, so that doesn't work, although there's a big and a small one. And blue are two small ones, that doesn't work either. But red has one big red one on this side and one small red one on this side, resulting in a red minus potion. So if you mix chicken food, crow food or whatever with scorpion and get a, a chicken and get a red minus potion, you already know a good couple of things about these two ingredients. Namely, there's for certain no red plus in there, which will exist in some other potions. And so you can start combining these, find out their properties and try to test out what's going on. There's even, and that's what uh, the first thing I just did, there's even a special arrangement if you take the exact negatives, so this is uh, big plus, big, uh, or red plus, green plus, red minus, green minus with uh, blue minus and blue plus, that will result in a soup or a neutral potion, which makes things quite interesting. And yummy. Yes, that probably too. Broth could be yummy. That, that probably too. Student needs but, to eat. But not that it's not super helpful for science yeah. because you want to have special properties in your potions. So what makes this, well, deduction worker placement game so compelling? How do you know that after playing it once or twice and you have a better memory than I am, <coughs> uh, than I have, uh, no, for I mean, example, I forgot basic gra grammar in English language just right no, now. How no, it, it, why I was giggling was you're forgetting so many things, so this was a very true statement. If you have, what do you mean? I very... forget things. I never forget. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you're the greatest alchemist. He will have forgotten that in two minutes. Go. Well, either you go the lame route and uh, well ask the duck to take care of all that mixing up uh, alchemicals with ingredients, and then you always have to ask the duck if well, what, what you're mixing, what is it producing, and someone else has to take care of that. Or, welcome to the digital age of the internet, where people have phones that come with additional information. And in our case, the phone comes with a little helpful app that uses an augmented reality uh, feature, which is like, now you can see me in an in a camera in a nutshell in a camera isn't this amazing but if someone is holding up these cards and i think you're holding that up wrong that's that's so great because no none of us can actually see what's on on the uh on the screen of all this can you see a frame you have better no, eyesight I, I don't i don't see anything let me let me take a look at... <laughs> okay let's uh, you must. Uh, oh, I'm you're on the on the um, on the dots. Yes. Oh, there we there we go. Hang on. Ah. There we go. Complicated so, game. So
So you you hold up your cards against against this and then say yes I want to do this and look what happened in our case we it's made a broth. we made soup so we don't really know what's now in these ingredients but we know that the two ingredients the alchemicals in there are the exact opposite of each one so I could go forth and then just well find out more about one of these and already know that what the other one will be as soon as I find out what one of these is make things quite interesting yeah and that is sort of the key thing about this game it is um, a, although this may look like a gimmick with with the smartphone with the app that does all that nice uh, s stuff for you this is a very very strong worker placement game mm -hmm. with a very strong deduction element and having something like a smartphone that takes care of all the well ugly well, house housekeeping of uh, taking care of how all these chemicals work um, taking care of you f for you uh, which is a huge boon you, games are still well i think they they say 90 to 120 minutes um which i think might be a little bit long i'm i would say there's well there's there's two there's actually two rules variants one is for the master and one is for the apprentice and the apprentice is a little bit easier goes a little bit quicker um so i can see that if you're playing with four people and have the master rules so it takes longer yeah but uh, that is essentially what you will be doing for uh for all the rounds uh that, that you're well playing alchemist you get up early in the morning decide what you want to do in the day either grab new ingredients um maybe you already found out how to make certain potions and sell them to the adventurer uh, there's a little like a, a mini game in there even if you are the first one to sell to an adventurer you might not be the one actually getting the deal because there's a hidden bidding game with discounts uh the higher your discount and the better your potion the better your chances are at uh, selling that to uh to the adventurer because adventurers really like the discounts um yeah and might even well, risk getting poisoned for a discount. But it's all who about doesn't? money. Who doesn't? If I go to town to to buy a burger, I always get, run the risk of getting poisoned because otherwise I wouldn't go to the burger shop. Yeah, discounts is what it's at. Um, and the actual way to win in this game is to write theories and become famous for them. You could be the one, the only one at the table who has a full grasp on everything that's going on every alchemical every ingredient that doesn't net you anything at the end of the game because you have to publish stuff as in the well the real academic world you don't have to be right you just have to write a lot to well become more famous and then get ahead of each other and be right eventually yes quality quantity thing the game the game also comes with a clever clever way of doing that early mm. on because you can not only just write your theory you can also and that's hidden information add in how sure you're about what you wrote about so if you're really 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 sure that well that a chemical is in that ingredient you can go for the gold star rating and uh, put that hidden uh, on on top uh, top of that um looking uh these are the, the top sides, but underneath it shows the actual information. If you are sort of sure, uh, there's still some silver uh, well, uh, awards or uh, markers that you, that you can put on there that are, well, silver they score only three points. I think the gold ones score five points. Let me find the golden oh. one and but not if you, if you if are you're right. wrong these only cost you three points or yeah, it's five. if you're entirely unsure and you just want to publish stuff there's the you've got a bunch of these with uh, question marks and a question mark for a single color so let's say you know that this thing here contains uh, the red minus and the blue plus but you're not sure if it's a green minus or a green plus you can publish a theory about this um, and just put this one on and take your marker that says I'm sure about this except for green um, and that will lead to if someone is about to debunk your theory um, and you are in fact right uh, about everything except for green 
they will have to prove to you that there is not a green minus in there like this one says but a green plus instead and the app also does that for you and sort of kind of reveals for everybody what this alchemical or at least this component of the alchemical is um, and if he is right then your marker is flipped over and uh, well if you're saying well it's, uh, I always was in doubt about this little piece of information but in general the entire thesis is correct then you don't lose points um, and if you're right you're right and they lose points for making you look stupid or trying or, to trying to make you look stupid and failing Mm -hmm. It's like, bam. as I said, there's a there's a very strong realistic academic simulation in there, and no, I'm not talking from experience because how should I? Um, who goes to university? Do you think the duck will be the first one in the family to go to university, like from start to finish? Well, of I, course. I I went there, but uh, yeah, that's why I said start to finish. I was just a sort of guest in most yeah. cases, and yeah, no, never anyway. mind, never mind. Back um, to the game. So you play <coughs> you play a couple of rounds and at the end of the game you win if you have the most fame points. And that is essentially it. It's, uh, as I said, it's a worker placement game wrapped in a deduction game. Uh, wrapped in a, well it's not really a point salad, but uh, mm -hmm. you, you get uh, some points here, some points there. Uh, at the end of the game there's a show for the public where you can show how proficient you are with uh, what kind of uh, um, what potions you can make if you have the ingredients. Um, you can show off to the contest of I don't know what country. Yeah. And uh, that also sums up every kind of player interaction. If you have noticed except for writing a thesis and debunking a thesis there's not a lot um, going on uh, except for maybe uh, hey i'm taking that space that you want to do mm -hmm. or i go first and uh, i i pay money for going first but then i have to sell the potion to someone to actually uh, make that possible uh, in the next round um yeah and that's that's that is I think that's that the basic. Alchemist. I think yeah. the, the I think we can go on to the the only the only thing I I, I skipped uh, are government grants. Um, if you actually wrote a thesis, and again, it doesn't have to be the correct thesis uh, about uh, each of a handful of uh, ingredients, you get money for that, and you get uh, um, fame points, or uh, victory points at, at the end of the game. And yeah. So, That's what did you like and what did you not like about the game? Huh. Uh, just, just FYI, usually before we make these kind of uh, review vlogs, we played uh, the game with two players, if it is playable with two players and with multiple players. Uh, we didn't have a chance, although we tried very hard to play alchemists with more than two people now. So all that's coming up now is just for the two player game and we can guess what it would be in the three or four player. Just FYI. So go, babe. Don't go away, but go say <laughs> what you liked and disliked about the game. I'm thinking really hard if I can find something that I really dislike about this game. I, I'm sorry, it's Cult of the New and I, I realize that uh, new games also always have a certain appeal, but I even like games like Clue. Uh, I really like deduction in games because it's sort of, there's a certain sense of skill Added, added to that and I uh, greatly enjoy that being able to figure something out that is well you have to figure something out and uh, try to interpret what uh, what is going on and I think it is the same sense of uh, well um, I'm feeling really intelligent today uh, once you solved your sudoku and um, this is quite similar to that you have a sudoku like um, deduction game that allows you to well deduce what's going on, but on the on the same level, you have some strategic, interesting decisions to make um, playing a worker placement game. I, if I had to compare this with other games, I would have to say this is uh, uh, well the like a, a, a slash fiction child of Caverna meets Clue or. Uh, 
lots of water leave me uh, needs uh, a clue uh, would be probably a good good way to describe this game mm -hmm. and it's it's an interesting theme i uh, i in in role playing games uh, video role playing games i greatly enjoy going out and uh, grabbing all these components mixing them together and finding out what's what is in there and uh, playing that exact uh, deduction game uh, and having that as a board game to play with other people and competing for who's quicker with that. Um, this is a wonderful game. I, I really like the theme. I really like the, the components. Well, I have to say something about the components uh, in later <laughs> or soonish uh, in the... Soonish in the experience in the, in the, game. In the, in the, in the one thing that I have to say about this that isn't so great. Um, but, um, yeah, this is... It's a is, hiccup, but this is a, this it will is be a, resolved. Uh, this was a great experience to play all, all around and I it pains me to say that we weren't able to uh, bring this out and play a four player game of Alchemists because uh, I really like this game and uh, I, I want to play this with more than, than two is just to have more interaction and uh, see what's going on there but it still was great for playing with two people I mean I if that didn't sound positive enough for you um, and you have, may have seen one or two videos and know that I'm never positive about anything especially not the viewership um, no I, I really like this game it's uh, it is really interesting it is does combine things that I have not seen that often combined in a board game and it combines a lot of things I really like about other board games nice do you have to say something, or should I go with my negative I have stuff first? Tons okay, to say, so let me let me I, I let me get the negative thing out of the way. Um, because it's also my negative thing, but again, for me, it is not really negative. It's a hiccup. Yeah. It's like yeah, that could happen. Um, but since the publisher already said they they will uh, send out new components, it will be resolved in the end. So. There's it will be fine. You you may have point. noticed this when I when I uh, uh, put put that little marker in here. And these don't really fit that well. It's I like mean, half they, a millimeter. You can, this actually does fit quite well, but if yeah, I if is. I put it put it in the other way around, um, then it's uh, yeah yeah. You and you may have heard that that is um, ugly sound. So. Um, CGE already said that at the demo booth in, in yeah. Essen and this seems to be an, an issue that literally just affects the first run that they sold out in, uh, in Essen um, because they just found out too late uh, that yeah. uh, So the manufacturer uh, changed things up already so yeah. we the, will have new components and that, that May I? Uh, and that is the only functional complaint. You, so the way we did it is we literally just took a white piece of a uh, sheet of paper and uh, put it in between these two and just took notes. Yeah, just like, uh, with uh, colored markers, plus, minus, Or, or just write whatever. Your, your, yeah. your color in there. There's totally fine. The, the other thing that could have been better, and uh, some, some people are annoyed by that, it doesn't really annoy me that much because, uh, well, I had a white paper, a sheet of paper <laughs> behind this, but uh, if you take a look at this, the, the printing is off because the offset is not, not exactly correct. And with off, I mean... Um, as you can see, there's the color lines in here, and they don't line up with the lines we have over here. Um, some people are unhappy with that. Uh, if it really annoys you, I'm pretty certain I've seen people post something on BGG already where you can just uh, print this out and um, well, it's literally it on put a sticker on, on, on here that uh, matches up the, the colors. And uh, as I said, CG already responded. You could go to their website and register for uh, getting uh, the components replaced. And they already said they're sending out sheets soon, yeah. soonish. Um, so that's fine. With markers that are uh, a little bit smaller. Um, maybe the, the other thing that is um, fear felt a little bit counterintuitive or as a warning if you're uh, building those up. So. Uh, what are you? What you're doing is you have uh, one of these uh, view screens in front of you that uh, well looks like a lab has some information on 
how to how to win, how to convert, how how the alchemicals uh, work, um, and um, you put this thing on top. Uh, actually, this is the wrong color. Hold but, it. Um, I'm I'm holding this one. You do the rest. So you 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 put this on on top, and this is where you are supposed to well to put your two cards in there and then scan them so that nobody can see them. Um, yeah, it's like a bookkeeper. This the, one you yeah just put out the tiny flap here and put the cards on top. Yeah, and that is that is something you might not find in the manual, so be careful if you open this up. This is supposed to stay on this with one side. Don't punch it, but it's not punchable, not really. It yeah, but if someone's like yeah, if you, I think if you that use force, this of is course. stuck. This is supposed to be just a lid that comes yeah. off, and uh, don't don't apply force and uh, remove that because otherwise you won't be able to put any cards on uh, on that. Yeah. Um, so that's my bit. Um, go. Whack. You seem to. He's just well, the one word. He's a uh, huh on it, but how, what are you? What are your thoughts about that? I'm a girl. <laughs> what are you? are you? Who are, are you? you? <laughs> what are you doing on my couch? No, I, I really... One. So you covered the hiccup that I also had, which is more on the negative side of the uh, experience. Other than that, I'm pretty much in love with that game. I'm, I'm very, very happy about the components. I like the, the artwork a lot. So... Even with that tiny offset, I, I don't care about it, but um, I think it just works so nice. You you really get into that uh, lab, college, university, wizard world very quickly just by looking at the artwork, at the board, at your little screen with uh, the kitty cat on top and whatnot. So I really, really liked the fact that the components do put you in the world that you're supposed to be in when you play this game. Um, for the gameplay itself, I really, really like it. I like worker placement games. And what I love about this game is that even if you are not going first, at least with a two-player game, you're not too stuck. So it might be that uh, you're... Uh, adversary did um, take the place you wanted to go first and takes whatever something from the market and that will be a, in the next segment that story but you can do other things and you are not that hindered so you can always catch up and you well you don't you don't get pissed off like in round two just because somebody's always taking your spot so the the mechanics work around that and I really really like that because this is usually one thing where I get pissed off really fast and then I don't enjoy games anymore or well, these kinds of games especially with this love one here who's who has a talent to accidentally or not so accidentally we are not married when we're playing together so that we can actually be competitive yes move one you can't do that this is horrible i want to flip the name just that is the next segment i said but anyway no this is this a description of all the games <laughs> oh not all the games but very many games when you do silly things that you are not supposed to do. <laughs> Winning. <laughs> no, it's fine. You can you, you can win in other terms. You don't have to go my route. It's fine. Anyways, um, so I, I really like that you have you have possibilities to still go down a uh, uh, victorious road if you um, if you're two players and the other one is taking the spot all the time. Um, what I also liked a lot was actually the, the app that comes with the game because it saves a lot of time and I know yes there are people who say if you play with an app or with a timer on a smartphone to help along the game that's not board gaming I get it but for me this is um, this is not taking away anything from the board game. If it is mostly app stuff and only like moving one meeple on the board, that would be too much. But just for the counter and just for figuring out the uh, 
the color um, of the chemical that you just uh, discovered, if it's plus, minus, whatever. And just to have a life counter, I really, really like it. It, it saves a lot of time, it saves a lot of looking back into the manual where, where maybe something was uh, written about what combination does what and uh, also it's it's nice because you show when you, when you do um, the I'm putting two ingredients together let's see what comes out and you, the result you show it to the other players but they don't know what you've mixed together. Mm -hmm. So by just just the way that you, they only see the app with the circle and the plus and the minus and the color and nothing around that, nothing yeah. distracting. I really really like that for the game. So yeah. that was a very clever move on the uh, author and the publishers to get a working app. And, and with the game and and just just to chime in on on that um as i said there's this little piece of help um, in, uh, within uh, the, the box uh, that allows you to essentially dedicate someone to be the app but yeah it's a, if you don't have a smartphone so i can you can still play the game i can it's see fine. i can see that maybe if you have um a four player game and have someone as a taskmaster otherwise it might get a little bit yeah boring or a and five player game and you just or there's a fifth person on the table four are the alchemists and the fifth one plays the app just to that's exactly what i just said. no you said four i said if four are playing one oh is... sorry i didn't get that anyways love you too so um yeah that that was really lovely i also liked the discounting um, mechanic in the game from CG. Oh no, the, because within the game, yes. No, within the game. I'm coming to the CG in a in a minute. But I really like the discounting game because this is something that I in in that way I did not experience or I don't remember it from any other worker placement games or uh, like it's yeah. not in Waterdeep. It's not in Caverna. It's well, well there is, it is in some some trading games, but they... I'm not, not big on the trading games. But not typically in this. As I said, it combines so yeah, many... Yeah, uh, so many. And I really things. like this... You know, it's, it's almost like as if they put four different tiny games together and make one big one. And I really like it. It's like back in school when we had sports... And first you went uh, running three rounds, and then it was push-ups, and then it was this, and then it was this. So it's pretty much the same thing, but with the cool board game stuff now. The the circle training. Yeah, would be the, the circle training, uh, the German. Circle thing. training makes no sense. Yeah, 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 whatever. But blah, blah. it's it's uh. It's so a, I like that. It's a uh, and just to. The, the tiny, German the lesson little, of the, the week. The German <laughs> lesson, yes. Uh, circle training is referred to that because you have multiple stations set up in a circle and you do one station for, let's say, a minute or two, then someone uh, whistles, Usually farts, the teacher. whatever, some, some <coughs> loud noise that indicates for everybody to now move so, over to yeah. the next thing. So uh, yeah. if you've seen that, you could say there's maybe the board game bear variant of a Stefan Feld game with a little like, yeah. next turn. <coughs> Sorry. So I, I really, really like that. Another thing that I liked uh, from the publisher though was that for the week that Spiel happened and this game came out on Spiel, they sold the or they they um, gave the app away on the App Store it's, free of charge. No, no, that's not this one. That's not this one? No, the, the app for this game is always free. Oh, it's always free. Which one was it then? That was uh, a, another game. No, that was uh, Doodle City. Oh, do oh, that's what is going to be covered next week with another Maybe. tiny no, we, with another tiny game. It will soonish be on this, but we will find out. Yeah. Who knows? So anyways, um, but the, oh, they, it was for free like all the time. That's even better. I like that. Yeah, well, I mean, it would be... It's like it's the app is an important part to this. It make making char charging money for the app. Sure, be... sure, but you can play it without the app. So it yeah. it it's not a must. It's a very nice to have. Yeah, but so. it is it is so uh, integral. I would say the 
this thing is the variant. The yeah, app if your if your if your battery is dead on the phone and you have to. Oh, that's a that's actually a nice 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 thing uh, uh, about the app. So if you if your Ouch. battery dies, um, you get a, a code for your game session, uh, which is literally just four or five letters. Um, and if your phone dies and you were well awake enough at the beginning of the game to note down those letters you can just fire up any other uh, phone uh, with that app on it enter the code and just continue from where you left oh, off that's nice um i like that which is uh, uh pretty cool yeah. yeah other than that um again love the components love the gameplay love the the theme of it so i'm i'm very very happy with that game and I can't wait to play it with three or four people. So I'm I, really, really looking forward to that. I, 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 have, to say. I have to say the theme in there is so strong that um, yeah. I am it's, it's, genuinely surprised that this game does not have a disc world attached to it because it's uh, yeah. it, the artwork and uh, the, the kind of humor in there, this almost realistic close. little bit well sarcastic over uh, over the top over it's, over the yeah. top real it's uh, i don't want to call it hyper realism because that sounds way too uh, well pompous for, for what it is but if if i if someone came up and said uh, do you know a game that would make perfect fit for uh, the disc world kind of brand thing this game would be it. i yeah. we own we own at least one one of the disc world games and um they Typically, well, they have some of the art, some of the characters show up in there, but they don't have a lot of lot to do with that world in terms of or game with mechanics. The books, yeah. And this one, it is... actually, it it actually coincidentally or not, it does. It's it reminds me so much of the university on the unseen world. university. Yeah, yeah. It, it is literally. Yeah. And the only thing maybe I mean... missing here that. Uh, that would tie would be like a hundred percent match. Uh, would be the op uh, the opportunity to assassinate the other players yeah. uh, for being well, having published more stuff or being yeah. more famous. I mean, look at the artwork on on the cover already. I I'm so. Uh, um, what was it? The color of magic. The double feature mm, the first one, yeah. thing. Yeah. If you have seen that movie and you look at this book, it's like, whoa, yeah, it's, this has to fit together. It's like, it's, yeah. yeah it is Anyways. very reminiscent of, yeah. uh, of those. So on a scale of one to awesome, where does this game rate for you? Um, I would say for me, it gets a, a red, green and blue plus. Mm -hmm. Big or small? Well, you can't do any of the potions without either, so... Ooh. You know what? I'm going all out on this. This gets a red, a green, a blue plus, and a soup. There you have it. Nice one. Sweet. So, funny stories. How did you like it on a scale from one to soup? From one to soup, I'd say... Goulash. Which is my favorite stew. So, um, which is, uh, yeah, very close to awesome. Uh, I'd say, or like really? real, a one to ten, I would say it's a nine and a half. Huh. Yeah, so very, very much up there. Um, funny stories and all that things, experiences, want to share the pestle and mortar story? It's a. There's a very, there is a very, very um, a powerful card in well, there, and we, don't we really have to know play it because we haven't played the at game at least for a two-player game, and I'm, that's why we have to play the four-player and with that card to see if it really is as powerful as I think it is. So through so. through a stroke of luck and bad card shuffling, we both ended up in the game with the, f the same starting cards, uh, one of which gave a discount um, on uh, on an item you, you could buy. So we both technically had enough uh, wealth to purchase this magical mortar. Um, 
and this allows you to whenever you're brewing a potion you typically have to discard both of your ingredients because well I mean you know how how things work you put them together something new happens and you don't get the stuff back that you put in you you know what I mean I see <coughs> I can, yeah. yeah look, I can see that they that are look, not, they are all nodding. That look told me that they know what I'm talking yeah. what I'm talking about. So, uh, we both technically were able to buy this, and this looked interesting for us right from the start, uh, which uh, someone at this table misinterpreted for that I jumped in on what she wanted to do, but I actually saw this very early on and wanted to go yeah, for this one. Yeah, and it was fine until you did some other, sorry for the word, dick moves later in the game where I said, hmm, well, but you got the model. It was the first game, the test round, where we explain even more, look into the manual, all of that. Not really competitive, but already going strong. And he got the model and I was like, Meh. God damn it, I, all I, the bad words. I tested the, uh, well, capabilities of having competitive encounters within the game. It yeah, it's fine. Work. It's fine. So he got the mortar and second round I said, well, um, would you please let me go to the uh, adventurer so that I can, uh, or go first, I'd say. Uh, to the adventurer so that I can sell a potion and well catch up kind of like what uh, to, to get back on track with your special but magical I mortar. I needed money. He's saying yeah yeah because he's not really listening and then when we place our our cubes there where is he going first? Ta-da you get it. So me being pissed like <laughs> big time Money. And I thought, well, maybe he did not listen. Let's try it again. Guess what? Money. Same thing. So, if you ever happen to play with my husband or at my a wife. game for the first time... Don't go for the mortar. Don't also go for the... Adventure. I'm not talking about Ex alchemist. I'm Pretty. very general. If you ever play a game with my husband for the first time and you haven't played this game before, don't expect him to be kind of nice he's very competitive like right away and he screws up your gameplay if he can and he enjoys it so be warned now you can talk do you want to talk well how else does someone learn how to win at a game if you're not playing like for reals I yeah but fir first game we just Close the manual. Well, uh, we read it. And, and, we and this, played it, and you're letting me die. And this, this might, this might. Um... And this was before I knew that uh, there were enough possibilities to go other routes. I expected it to be like Waterdeep or Caverna, so that's why I was pissed. But this is a this is a more uh, of a of a general thing. Um, if so, if I'm if. If I'm telling someone how a game works or playing it with someone for the first time, which is not a good example because we both played this game for the first time. But uh, typically if I, if I uh, try to teach someone how to play a game, I, I make an effort to only give them enough rope to sort of hang themselves, if that makes sense, uh, so to, uh, that they understand the basic mechanism but still can figure out how to win or how to uh, be good at the game by themselves. Yeah. Um, because it's sort of patronizing if you go in and then uh, well talk to each other. Say, you should do this now because this is the only thing that makes sense, and uh, well, people should find out by by themselves. And yeah, it's, and uh, it's on the success. contrary, that's also why I why I'm not playing or making decisions then uh, by giving someone else a chance because they look at what I'm doing and that might inspire them to do something or, or lead them to having some, some interesting strategic I decision. I tried, but you didn't let me. In this particular case, where we played the game for the very first time, I wanted to try out how that competitiveness uh, between players works out. And if mm. you're just playing with okay. two, two uh, players, 
I mean, I could sort yeah. of block. I can't, cannot block myself from from taking certain opportunities and uh, see how that works out. Um, yeah, and there's no way to have like a random third player. So yeah. we have to wait for the other guys to play yeah. the game. The, the the duck is terrible at deduction. Yeah, games. very good at games like Cosmic Encounters. Very bad at deduction. Games. He can't handle the little tokens there, so he and they add the photos yeah, to right. bake all of that. Yeah. And mm -hmm. for some reason, he is super afraid of soup. I don't know. Yeah, why. and he's always fully covered by the whole screen and then he's afraid of the dark all of that you maybe know it if you have a side up yourself anyways i think uh this is the time for us to wrap up this lovely vlog anything you want to add anything you want to say other than i don't know goodbye or something like that nah. and that was the proper german goodbye <laughs> was not so okay guys we're going have a very good one if you have any questions any uh any comments anything you want to let us know in the description yeah. please make the writing uh, no make the thumbs up and make the writing <laughs> <laughs> and we're gonna see you next week either with two smaller games or one big one and uh we haven't decided obviously. So, take good care, happy weekend, and uh, maybe you can throw in a board game there between whatever you are doing. Anyways, rambling, going, bye! Ah. I almost thought it was him who said it. Say again. Say again. Say again. Say again. The sad thing about take a ball. Okay, we're going. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs>